I am Alicia Garza, and I'm one of the co-creators of the Black Lives Matter Network. This is our three-year anniversary, and um, I've never felt more hopeful, actually. So three years ago, uh, there was not an international organizing network that spanned the globe uh, fighting for black lives. And today, that's not true. Today, uh, what's happening in black communities, what's happening, happening to black people, uh, is front and center in every conversation. And that's not just true here in the United States. It's true all over the world. For us, I think uh, we understand the conventions to be the place where political parties both solidify their agendas and also determine who it is that they will put on a platform to run for president. Uh, but I think for many of us, we're clear that we vote for ourselves as president, uh, that we understand that the agenda of either party doesn't reflect the needs of our communities. Uh, and while we will continue to push them uh, to respond and to engage to our agenda, uh, we also know that we can't place our faith there. We have been talking for years now about defunding the police state. We've been talking for years now around uh, redirecting the resources that we give to police and policing into communities, which actually makes us safer. Um, that is a concrete agenda that, that legislators could move on today. For me, um, what this moment represents is a real turning point. It requires us to say, what are we gonna do to make this happen? What I'm thinking about all the time, every day when I wake up and when I go to sleep, I'm thinking about how we get free. I think the role that young people play in the movement in general is really reflecting our current conditions. Um, lots of people like to say, well, young people are the future. And I'm like, no, no, young people are right now, right? Um, and are the clearest expression um, of what it is that we have to be proud of and also what it is that we still have to do a lot of work on.